Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 12 July 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor Online Madeleine Arnaldi writes that mining companies and suppliers have teamed up to advance evolving ESG goals. The South African mining industry continues to be a key contributor to the fiscus, with local producers and suppliers paying about 14 billion rand in royalties and 90 billion rand in taxes in the year ended December 31, 2023, and investing billions of rands in environment, social and governance initiatives. The engineering news features focus on compressors, air motors and vacuum pumps, where a manufacturer boosts its project activity and fasteners, where a CE-marked washer range is offered by a distributor. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Africa, where meeting challenges requires a strategy rethink. And gold, where ESG is highlighted in a company's operations. This week's business leader is Grant Sporos, the CEO of Eurosun Mining. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's government of national unity is unquestionably the best outcome from what was a potentially treacherous political moment. It's no surprise that the number of ministerial seats at the cabinet table has increased, although it's ironic that some of those seats are being occupied by the most vociferous critics of the previous bloated cabinet. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.